Things around us. Activity 1A. What's in my classroom? Write the names of the objects in the correct groups. Living things. Students and teacher. Things that were once alive. It would be the wooden chair and pencil. Things that would never be alive. That is pen and clock. Color of the box with the correct answer to complete the sentence. The wall clock is, it's something that has never lived because its different parts are not alive. The banana and apple are things that were once alive because they used to be a part of a living thing. The living thing was a plant. Word whiz. Complete the crossword puzzle using the clues. The crossword has been completed for you and you can check the answers next to the question. A cross. Reproduction is a life process by which living things can have young. Living things are those things that are alive. Down. Those that have never lived were never alive. Movement is a process by which living things go from one place to another. Nutrition is a life process by which living things take in and use food. Growth is a life process by which living things become bigger. Those that used to be a part of a living thing were once alive. Let's map it. Fill in the blanks using the following words. The words are animals, grow, living, never, processes, move, nutrition, once, part, plants, and reproduce. We can group the things around us in three groups. Living things are those that are alive. These include plants and animals. They carry out many life processes to stay alive. They grow, that means they become bigger. They can reproduce to have young ones. They need nutrition so that they take in food. They move, that means they go from one place to another. The second group is things that have never been alive. And the third group is things that were once alive or used to be alive. They can be once a part of a living thing. Let's review. In which group does each object belong? A cooked prawn. A cooked prawn comes under the group of things that were once alive because the prawn was alive when it was in the sea, however later it died and it was cooked. Pet fish. The pet fish comes under the group of living things because it's still alive. Orange tree. The tree is not cut and neither are oranges plucked from the tree. That's why the orange tree is still alive and it comes under the group of living things. Plastic chair. Things that have never lived. Which object does not belong in each group? Circle it. In the group of living things, a rugby ball does not belong. Things that have never lived before. Screw has never lived before, pumpkin was once alive, mug has never lived before. The question asks you to circle the one that does not belong to this group. A pumpkin does not belong to this group. That's why it has been circled. Things that were once alive. Chicken is a living thing and it does not belong to this group. That's why it has been circled. However, the wood and the tomato were once alive. Look at the table. The table headings are missing. Write the correct headings to complete the table. Use those following words. That's living, never lived and once alive. Metal spoon has never lived. A tomato plant is a living plant. A jar has never lived. Sand has never lived before. Leaf was once alive but now it's dry and dead. The bee is living and the shell has never lived before.
Write the names of the life processes being described. Living things can have young, that's reproduction. Living things take in and use food, that's nutrition. Living things become bigger, that's growth. And living things can go from one place to another, that's movement. Is the bot a living thing? Why? Bot means a robot. Now circle the two correct statements. Out of the three given statements, that is, yes, bot can move, no, bot cannot grow bigger, no, bot does not need food. The last two are correct. A bot or a robot is not a living thing because they do not grow bigger and they do not even need food to stay alive.